Spring by Edna St. Vincent Millay To what purpose, April, do you return again? Beauty is not enough. You can no longer quiet me with the redness of little leaves opening stickily. I know what I know. The sun is hot on my neck as I observe the spikes of the crocus. The smell of the earth is good. It is apparent that there is no death. But what does that signify? Not only underground are the brains of men eaten by maggots, life in itself is nothing. An empty cup, a flight of uncarpeted stairs, it is not enough that yearly, down this hill, April comes like an idiot, babbling and strewing flowers. Song of a Second April April this year, not otherwise than April of a year ago, is full of whispers, full of sighs, of dazzling mud and dingy snow, hepaticas that pleased you so are here again, and butterflies. There rings a hammering all day, and shingles lie about the doors. In orchards near and far away, the gray woodpecker taps and bores. And men are merry at their chores, and children earnest at their play. The larger streams run still and deep, Noisy and swift, the small brooks run. Among the mullein stalks the sheep. Go up the hillside in the sun, pensively. Only you are gone. You that alone I cared to keep.